we're self miners ourselves, and we understand a lot of the problems that a common miner out there or a common company that runs air cooled units might experience. You know, we've we've ran countless other manufactured air cooled pods. At, we actually started out running, and we've helped a lot of other sites that use these air cooled solutions. And we understand what what you go through. Like we understand the hot air research issues that might come with uh, with some of these solutions. Like it's really what drove us to want to try and solve that into one solution, which is what we ended up doing. Our way of air movement is different from all, of, all other pod manufacturers out there. And we did it basically to solve a lot of the issues that we were seeing with other manufacturers' solutions that we currently own. We go up through the roof instead of a streamlined approach. Our solution was driven by experience. I mean, we were, we've operated a lot of other solutions out there and we started with the streamlined air movement approach and it created a lot of problems with us with air, hot air recirculation and go forward with a better solution that better fit our needs and uh, gave us better uptime and that's, that's pretty much what we did. The design of the pod axe allows for the airflow to be evenly distributed throughout the entire pod, given our intake design and our exhaust design. The air is distributed through all the miners nice and evenly. So our approach was more of an engineered approach to dealing with air-cooled uh, solutions. Like you have in, a, in other solutions out there, you're going in one side and you're going out the other. And depending on how you do that, you might not get an evenly distributed airflow across all your miners. We wanted to do all the proper tests to understand what a miner actually needs in terms of airflow. But all of our innovations were, were engineered approaches. We just wanted to really dial in on why air moves the way it does with, with, uh, with Bitcoin miners and try and solve those issues uh, in, our, in our pod solution. And it's just the more units that you're using, the more airflow velocity that you need to control going in. And if you can figure out a way to slow that velocity down by either creating more intake area or dividing it up into two sections and exhausting in a different way, it can help your miners tremendously. Our pod can operate at 98% uptime up to 95 degrees outside. Well, Hurricane Aline just came through South Carolina where we have uh, about 50 megawatts of pod X and we, there was no issues with uptime or any leaking or anything falling apart. In North Dakota, we operate three pod axes. We turn them on in the middle of the winter in North Dakota. In North Dakota has extreme winters. They have, it's very windy, it's very cold, and it's very snowy. And then uh, we operated the same three pods through the summertime and North Dakota has extreme heat, extreme wind, and extreme dust, just like Texas. And our pods operated at the highest level of time we could. The two things that make our pod quieter is the fan is oversized so we can spin it slower, and the fan is on top of the roof so all the sound goes vertical versus other solutions that have the sound going horizontal. So site density, um, because all the hot air goes up through the roof and up vertically, um, we can put our pods uh, close together. So we can get 20 foot spacing on our pods. Right now we can get roughly 30 megawatts on a one acre site. No one else can say they can do that. buy a pod X for a number of reasons. Uh, one is our sound. Two is code compliance. Uh, three is the level of expertise that come with the pod X. We have on staff licensed engineers. Uh, we have a great construction management team. We have great operation teams. We are a Bitcoin miner. So we know when we operate our own pod solution. You get the best performing mine or uptime that is out there uh, in all temperatures and environmental conditions. When you 
purchase a pod axe, you get not just a great performing pod with great uptime and lower sound and code compliance, which is huge, but you're also getting a team of engineers uh, and uh, procurement specialists and construction management and operators to help back you up. And we operate our own pods and we will, we can do everything from start to finish for our clients. You know, we don't have any hot air research problems with our pod because of our airflow movement. All of our electrical components are up to code. You're not gonna get any code official coming right when you're ready to hit the switch and telling you you gotta spend 100 grand on parts that you didn't really think you needed to spend on. We don't have any issues with rain or snow. We, I mean, we operate in plenty of different environments that produce rain or snow and we operate completely fine. So if you're experiencing any of those issues, you know, it's something that our pod has solved and it's solved for us over these past two years. You know, we've been running it for the past two years and haven't had any issues uh, since, we, since we started deploying them. But, but in a sense, you know, we, we just understand the problems that come with other solutions out there. And that's why we wanted to make it better for us. And now we're trying to make it better for you.